timely government stimulus to every sector keeps economy running, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tells ECADC meeting. ECADC approves four projects costing 1,659 crore and 34 lakh taka. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to pre preside over Climate Vulnerable Forum meeting tomorrow. Obaid al Qadir urges raising social movement against rapists. Saudi Airlines issuing tickets to returnees on basis of validity of the karma and visa. And black hole researching trio Roger Penrose, Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Arguez win this year's Nobel for Physics. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Lafi Simpiazuddin, welcoming you to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Centre. You just heard the headlines, we have details of those and other stories coming up. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said the national economy has made a turnaround with its desired pace and this has happened due to the government's timely decision to provide stimulus packages to various sectors and groups during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Prime Minister said this in an introductory speech while presiding over a meeting of the Executive Committee of the National Economic Council, ECNEC, this morning. She attended the virtual meeting from her official residence, Gonobhobun. The Prime Minister said the idea behind giving the various packages to different industrial sectors, including agriculture, SMEs, heavy industries, and RMG, and other groups like the poor, the day laborers, and distressed people during the pandemic, was to keep the wheels of the economy turning. কি আমাদেরকে ধরে রাখতে হবে খাদ্য উৎপাদনটা বাড়াতে হবে মানুষের যে খাবারে কষ্ট না হয় সেটা আমরা কিন্তু ধরে রেখেছি কৃষি আমরা সরাসরি দিলাম আবার শিল্প এবং অন্যান্য সেক্টরগুলির জন্য আমরা আলাদাভাবে কিন্তু ভাগে ভাগে যেমন ক্ষুদ্র মাঝারির জন্য আলাদা বৃহৎ শিল্পের জন্য আলাদা এরকম প্রত্যেকটা সেক্টরে আমরা ভাগ ভাগ করে দেওয়ার ফলে গার্মেন্টসের জন্য আলাদা আমরা বিশেষভাবে দিলাম তো এই দেওয়াটাই কিন্তু আমাদের অর্থনীতিটাকে গতিশীল রাখতে Planning Minister M. Mandan also joined the virtual meeting from Gonobhabun, while other ministers and sectors concerned attended from the city's Sherry Bangla Nagar, LEC conference room. ECNEC in today's meeting approved a total of four projects involving an overall estimated cost of 1,659 crore, 34 lakh taka. Briefing reporters after the meeting, Planning Minister Ebe Mandan said they approved four projects, one is new and three revised. The projects are Jatyo Kobikazi Nuzur Islam University Physical Infrastructure Development Project, first revised, Rehabilitation of polder number 62, Potinga, polder number 63, 1A Anwara, polder number 63, slash 1B Anwara and Potia in the coastal areas of Chottogram district. Project second revised, multi-sector project to address Rohingya crisis on emergency basis, first revised, and self-employment creation and poverty alleviation through expansion of BTAC activities placing importance on women in practical technical training project phase two prime minister sheikh hasina has directed uh, the authorities concerned to set up modern warehouses in different parts of the country to increase uh, the capacity of food grain storage 
The Prime Minister was speaking while observing samples of boiled and atop rice collected from CSDs and LSDs across the country during Boro and Amun season. Checking out the samples of rice, Sheikh Hasila expressed satisfaction over the quality of the preserved rice in the government go-downs. The Prime Minister said the authorities will have to construct modern go-downs like the warehouse earlier constructed in Shantahar of Bogura to preserve food grains. At this time, the Prime Minister asked of the authorities concerned to distribute on priority basis the rice that had been collected in 2019. She also gave directives to shift preserved rice at lower levels in the go-down to upper levels to ensure distribution of previously procured rice earlier than those of the newer ones. Planning Minister M.M. Annan, Prime Minister's Principal Secretary, Dr. Ahmed Kaikaus, Prime Minister's Office Secretary, Fazal Hussain Mir, were present. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasira will chair. Foreign Ministry Press release said Taka, along with GCA, will host CVF leaders. event at 7 p.m. where Bangladesh Ministers for Foreign Affairs and Environment, Forest and Climate Change will also join. At the event, the CVF leaders and other speakers will focus on the urgent need for all countries to strengthen climate action and adaptation efforts. Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhry said agriculture-friendly policy of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina played an effective role in ensuring food and nutrition for the countrymen. Contributions of farmers to the effect is unparalleled, she said. Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhry said this while addressing the second governing council meeting of Future Earth South Asia today. She attended the meeting through video conferencing from her residence in Dhaka. Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhry said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina engaged women in the Amarbari Amarkama project to make the wheels of rural economy vibrant. She said the government had successfully made revolutionary changes in agriculture and food sectors through implementing various programs during the last 10 years. Member of the Indian Parliamentary Standing Committee on Financial Affairs, Prem Dash Roy, Bhutanese Minister for Agriculture and Forests, Leon Po Yashe Penjor, and other members of the Governing Council attended the meeting through video conferencing. The identity of the rapists is that they're criminals. Awami League General Secretary Abad al Qadir urge all to wage social movement against the rapists. He made the call by speaking at a party secretary level meeting held at the Awami League Central Office at 23 Bongobuntu Avenue in the capital today. Mentioning that the culprits of some recent incidents have been swiftly punished, Ubaid al Qadi said, no matter how big the leader is, the culprit must be punished. The Awami League General Secretary said, Perpetrators have no party identity. By punishing the real culprits, this government has proved that no one is above the law. About full committee of our Army League's associate organizations, Abad al Qadi said, party men have to watch out so that controversial persons could not get a place in the new committee. He said new committees would be declared soon after contact with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasira. Upon Dole Rome, Oporon Kurje, upon Lugra, Tadano Pichar, Paramuti de Tara, Dorta Pietilo, Awamili Gilpo, Paramuti de Dakaro, Tatograve, Jamalotin, Hotta Tandesate, 
অপহরণের সাথে তারাই জড়িত তাদের এখানে কোনো আপোষ নেই কোনো প্রকার ছাড় দেওয়া আমি সবাইকে বলব ধৈর্য ধরতে প্রতিবাদ করার দরকার নেই প্রতিবাদ যে জন্য করা হচ্ছে এই ঘটনার বিচার সরকার করছে ঘটনার সাথে জড়িত কাউকে রেহাই দিচ্ছে না এ অবস্থা যে জন্য প্রতিবাদ সে সমস্যার সমাধান তো সরকারি অপরাধীদের বিচারের আওতা আনছে আওয়ামী লীগ জয়েন্ট জেনারেল সেক্রেটারিজ মাহবুব আল আলম হানিফ এন্ড ডক্টর হাসান মাহমুদ ওয়া প্রেজেন্ট হামং আদার্স ওয়াল জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি বাদল কাদের চেয়ার দ্য মিটিং Saudi Airlines is giving air tickets to Saudi migrant workers without any tokens. The airlines is providing tickets on the basis of aqama and visa. Thousands of migrant workers crowded in front of the Saudi Airlines office at Karwan Bazaar area in the capital this morning. Saudi-bound workers were seen standing in long queues for collecting tickets to go back to their jobs in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Airlines are providing air tickets to, to the Bangladeshi migrant workers from two separate counters after scrutinizing their passports and necessary documents. Bangladesh has succeeded in controlling the first phase of the corona pandemic and taken all necessary measures to face any possible second wave in the country. Health and Family Welfare Minister Zahid Malik said this while addressing a workshop on facing second wave of corona and preparation. This was in the capital today. Secretary of Health, Education and Family Welfare Division Muhammad Ali Noor, Professor Dr. ABM Abdullah, Director General of Directorate General of Health Services, Professor ABM Khushid Alam among others took part in the workshop. The health minister said the government was fully prepared to collect vaccines for coronavirus. Thirty COVID-19 patients died in the last 24 hours in the country, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 5,405. The recovery count, on the other hand, rose to 2,84,833 after another 1,651 persons recovered during the same period. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services said today, it said the tally of infections had surged to 3,71,631 with 1,499 new cases being confirmed. And now international news. COVID-19 global death toll crosses 10,49,000 with more than 3 crore 57,38,000 infected. On the other hand, more than 2 crore 69,15,000 people have actually recovered so far. The U.S., the current epicenter of the pandemic, has now 76,81,202 confirmed cases and 2,15,096 deaths. India, which is in the second place in the list of nations worst hit by coronavirus, is now about 66,95,118 confirmed cases and 1,3,654 deaths. In Brazil, the total death toll from the COVID-19 pandemic is 1,46,773 while 49,40,499 people have been infected. President Donald Trump returned to the White House after a three-night hospital stay for treatment of COVID-19, facing a staff hit by a wave of infections and a campaign further shadowed by the pandemic four weeks 
before election day. Wearing a white surgical mask, Trump gave a thumbs up and waved at reporters as he walked to the executive mansion from the helicopter that flew him back from the Walter Reed Medical Center just outside Washington. He then walked up the staircase of the White House south of Portico, removed his mask and posed for pictures, at times giving a thumbs up and others a salute. Britain's Roger Penrose, Germany's Reinhard Genzel and US scientist Andrea Gez won the 2020 Nobel for Physics for their discoveries about one of the most exotic phenomena in the universe, the black hole. Penrose Professor, Penrose, professor at the University of Oxford won half the prize for his work using mathematics to prove that black holes are a direct consequence of the general theory of relativity. Genzel of the Max Planck Institute and University of California, Berkeley, and Gez at the University of California, Los Angeles, shared the other half for discovering that an invisible and extremely heavy object governs the orbits of stars at the center of our galaxy. Physics is the second of this year's crop of Nobels to be awarded after three scientists won the Nobel for medicine for their discovery of hepatitis C. That was on Monday. Now news from the world of sport. Mumbai Indians set a victory target of 194 runs for Rajasthan Royals in IPL cricket in Abu Dhabi. Earlier, Mumbai Indians won the toss and decided to bat first. Mumbai scored 193 runs for four wickets in their stipulated 20 overs. Surya Kumar Yadav was unbeaten on 79. And now before we end the news, let's take a look at what's making the headlines here. Timely government stimulus to every sector keeps the economy running. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tells ECADC BT. ECADC approves four projects costing 1,659 crore and 34 lakh a taka. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to preside over Climate a Vulnerable Forum meeting tomorrow. Abad al Qadir urges raising social movement against rapists. Saudi Airlines issuing tickets to returnees on basis of validity of a karma and a visa. And Black Hole researching trio Roger Penrose, Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Gez win this year's Nobel for Physics. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Uh, thank you for joining us and we invite you to watch our news again at 11.30. And that's going to be in Bangla. Until then, for the half